Ravens get jumped by a team that jumps in front of them to make a selection in the second time. It's the Texans. The Denver Broncos have traded the 70th pick, 75th pick to the Houston Texans. With the 75th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Christian Harris, linebacker, <laughs> they Alabama. Ju- they jumped him for another Alabama player. They've got the Ravens on Alabama players. So if you like an Alabama player, you better get in front of the Baltimore Ravens. That's crazy, man. Big time speed from Christian Harris. Really started the light started to come on for him late in his college career. Reminded me a lot of Patrick Queen, Charles. Talk about a linebacker that the Ravens have on their team. So this maybe that's the reason why they felt like they need to get ahead of the Ravens to make this pick. But as you said though earlier, watch Nicobe Dean will fall right to the Ravens, and that is a possibility for them to go select him. Sitting right there. They have already, as you know, taken a jabo. It is the Ravens pick on the clock. Right now, the Colts are on the clock, but there is Christian Harris. How's everybody doing? We got some Ravens fans out there? All right, Block, here we go. With the 76th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Travis Jones, defensive tackle, UConn. So I had two players left in my top 50 on the defensive side of the ball. One was N'Kobe Dean. The other was this one right here, Travis Jones. I thought he was a top 40 player in this draft. Powerful, can really handle double teams. They love big people in Baltimore. He's going to fit right in. Here he is walking Cole Strange right back to the quarterback. That was a fun battle for him all week long. He got after people in these one-on-ones. You could just see how strong and powerful he was. Going up against some quality interior players, this is Zion Johnson right here throwing him to the side. He was a first-round pick. Went to the combine and put on a show with that athleticism. It's hard to find guys this big that can move like he does. I thought he would have got more juice and more. we would have talked about him more coming out of the combine, if not for what we saw out of Georgia and those two defensive tackles. But CD, uh, this is a Ravens-type player. Yeah, absolutely. I know that. No, that's for sure. All right, the Colts are back on the beam with right the here. With the 77th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Bernard Reidman, tackle, Central Michigan. Yeah, and this is a fun story. Grew up in Austria, showed up as a tight end, and then converted to a tackle. Just continued to add weight and strength. And when he gets his hands inside like that, it is over. He gets his hands on you. The rep is over. First tape I popped on was this one right here, working against LSU. And I thought it was one of his most impressive games. He can latch and run his feet. He can play in space. He's a very good athlete. You see the former tight end in him, the ability to adjust and pick off defenders out there in, in open space. And then the finish is outstanding as well in the run game. Here you can see him flat back a defender. That experience at tight end, that's where he was at Austria right there. Look at that. That's a completely different body type. That's not Photoshopped? Today. That is that is oh, him. My goodness. That looks like a fat Austria head. Austria military service. Here's a picture there. Remember, he had to leave Central Michigan for six months to go out to complete his military yep. service to his country before he came back. And real quick, guys, Anthony Costello. Andrew Hawkins. Our Andrew Hawkins his and his son, son making the announcement for the Browns. Dog check. All right. So if you're one of the millions of football fans out there rushing to search, who is this small in stature but devilishly handsome man I've never heard of? I'm gonna save you some time and instead tell you to search NFL Pro Era, the first NFL virtual reality video game ever by Status Pro in the NFL and coming to VR this fall. Welcome to the future of the field. And welcome to the future of the land, brownies. With the 78th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Alex Wright, defensive end, UAB. Alex Wright's a really intriguing player. Split his time on the edge as well as rushing inside. He's explosive. You see him just crash from the backside. You see the strength and the power, the speed all come together there. Just plays a little bit too high. You have to get his pads down a little bit. Something for him to work on going forward, but an intriguing player, Rich. Austin Eckler's back, guys. Generally, people who thought that when he came out yesterday that he's joining Amazon and quitting the league last night. Bolt Nation was good. I see y'all. A lot of people. 
with the 70 with the 79th pick in the 2020 second NFL draft the Los Angeles Chargers select JT Woods defensive back Baylor let's go oh there you go I know Brandon Staley loves the idea when you have two high safeties which you could take Nas Adderley and JT Woods let those guys roam up top it allows you to drop Derwin James down close to the line of scrimmage he can cover tight ends Derwin James probably the best blitzing safety in the NFL. He's outstanding at doing that. Such a unique and special athlete. JT Woods is a track star. He's got legit speed, and he's got outstanding range and ball skills. Six picks this year. Then we see him at the Senior Bowl, gets a pick in that game. So let me see, Charles. You've got long, fast. You've got somebody with outstanding ball skills, and he'll yep. hit you as well. Intelligence. you got to put that in there as well. You know what it reminds me of? Remember when Tyron Matthew was at LSU and he would do all of his sorties underneath Joel and make all of his different plays? Yep. Because he had Eric Reed over the top. That's right. Who, who took care of him. JT Woods took care oh, of Caleb. Float. He's going to float right. Over Remember, the top. he took care of Petrie underneath. You handle all that stuff, I'll clean it up. Earl Thomas at his best in Seattle. He was the eraser back there. JT Woods similar. And Dave. With the 80th pick in the 2022 NFL draft. The Denver Broncos select Greg Dulcich, tight end, UCLA. Got to love the booing out of the Raider fans at a draft when the Broncos are choosing. And there's Greg Dulcich out of UCLA. Started as a walk-on, which I love that. You know that. But I love the fact that this guy can get across the field. DJ, when I'm watching film on him, when I see him, he threatens the defense, whether he's in line or flexed out, in particular on all those crossing routes. He's got a great feel for space. He's very athletic, and then he turns into a very good runner after the catch. You saw that against LSU and that monumental upset that uh, UCLA had against LSU to begin this year. Here he is feeling the space in the middle of the field, kind of split out. Look at that move just to the outside, gets himself open. A tight end that can create his own space, win, catch with his hands. He's a good player. The 81st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. The New York Giants select Cordell Flott, defensive back, LSU. Flott in the slot, here we go. A chance to be one of the better nickels in this draft class. He's a little bit light. He's not real thick, but he has got outstanding quickness and awareness. You're going to be able to play him in the slot, let him blitz a little bit. He plays with toughness. Again, you see how slightly built he is. You remember Bradley uh, Roby with uh, yep. uh, Nicole? What's give me the and name? Nickel Roby. Nickel Coleman. Roby Coleman. Coleman. Thank you, Charles. He's a little bit bigger. He's than a little him. bit taller than him, but he reminds me of him kind of the way he plays. Yeah, and he plays with that furious. You know, I don't care how big you are, I'm still going to be there and be around. You mentioned James Bradbury possibly being in play with the Giants. A, a pick like that. Not that he's going to go out and play the corner like Bradbury, Joel, and be the outside guy. Yep. But you just keep adding defensive backs to your room. You'll find a way at that point. Cordell Flott going into the nickel, going into the slot to start things off for the Giants. To come out and give their second pick of the third round for them. In case you're just joining us, it was a 74th selection. This is the 82nd. 74th selection in which they chose Desmond Ritter, the second quarterback taken off the board out of Cincinnati. Let's see what they follow up with here. With the 82nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select D'Angelo Malone, linebacker, Western Kentucky. Oh, he's a fun one. He is someone that plays much bigger than that 243 pounds. He's got long arms. He knows how to use them. I put baby Brian Burns because that's who we reminded of when I watched him. That big time, big time get off, Joel. He's going to be a very disruptive player. I just thought that first step, that's you feel that the explosiveness right off the kick. Knows uh, the how to perform, and certainly here in the strip, John, John Darnboss is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good to be here. We got some Birds fans in the house. E A G. I'll tell you what. All 31 other teams love to hear that right there. With the 83rd pick of the 2022 20, NFL Draft. The number one team in sports with the greatest fans in the world, the Philadelphia Eagles, are happy, you know it, are happy to select a linebacker from Georgia, Nakobe 
Dean. All right. You there are we go. an eagle, and you are going to love every second of it. Congratulations, my man. Welcome to the birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. How about Gio wanted a linebacker? He wanted <laughs> a he first round linebacker. For the love of God. He's not a first round linebacker. He just didn't get him till the third round. This is a player that should have been long gone by now. The leader of that fantastic Georgia defense. Everything he does is with purpose and with urgency. You see how quick his instincts take him to the football. I don't care what he would have run. He didn't have to run a 40. He plays plenty fast, and his eyes work. Every time in the Georgia game when they ran to the perimeter, it felt like N'Kobe Dean was there waiting for him. Here he is showing you those instincts, sniffing out a screen, beating a block. He's got two blockers waiting for him out there. He somehow navigates around. Okay, you're going to split out a running back? That's fine. I'm going to stay off. I'm going to drive on the ball, and I'm going to make a house call. They'll pick so six here. So good. He is so good. Here he is as a blitzer. He is an outstanding blitzer. I was talking to an NFL head coach, big-time defensive mindset. He thought this was one of the best blitzing linebackers he's seen in a long time. This was 100% about health, Charles. He had no business lasting this long in this draft. No, he didn't, so it's just an extra first-round pick for the Eagles. I mean, talk about the bonanza. My comparison to Jonathan Vilma who was an academic All-American as well as an All-American on the field at the University of Miami. Everything ran through him, and the same thing in the pros. Everything runs through them. And here's one other thing you got to keep in mind. If you are a linebacker, what is your number one job? It is to tackle people, correct? Yep. His tackling percentage, well over 90%. DJ, when you graded him, how many times did you mark that missed tackle? Not much. I read MT rarely. on the paper, and there's not a lot of MTs. Not a lot of MTs. That's what you're supposed to do. So uh, Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean. Here's Kyle the Hamilton, latest Steelers right pick. With the 84th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select DeMarvin Leal, defensive end, Texas A&M. Yeah, he was a tough evaluation because he's kind of a tweener. Somebody that can play out on the edge, can play inside, really quick hands. I love the effort that he played with. There were times where he'd get caught and washed down the line of scrimmage, but he can penetrate. They've done a nice job evaluating defensive linemen in Pittsburgh. I think they might have got a good one right here. Ian?